Welcome back everyone. Moving on to the next example dealing with the inverse of a function. So we have to find the slope of the line f of x equals mx plus 5 if f of negative 1, 3 is equal to negative 4. So notice that this is in y equals mx plus b form and we're solving for that m value for the slope. And then notice that we're given this information with the inverse of this. So there's a couple of ways to do this. There's actually an easy way and a tougher way. I'll go through both. So I'll start off with the easier way. Um, what we can do, what we can notice is we have our function, which is this, and then we have our inverse. So notice that with the inverse, we're given the coordinate 3 and negative 4, right? The x value is 3 the y value is negative four. This is for the inverse, which means for the function, it's going to contain the point with these x and y values interchange. So this function is going to contain the point negative four and three. Okay, so now, pretty easy, we got f of x equals mx plus five. What we can do is we could plug in three for the y value and we could plug in negative four for the x value, so we'll have negative four m, and then we'll have plus five, and then we just have to isolate for this m. So bring the negative four m over, I'm gonna bring the three over, so I'll have four m, five minus three gives us two, so m is two over four, which is one over two. So in my opinion, that's the best way to go about it, that's the easiest way, notice that this is the coordinate on the inverse. So on the function, the coordinate's gonna be negative four and three, just this interchange. So we could plug in negative four for the x value, three for the y value, and just solve for that m value. Another way to do this, a tougher way, is we could rewrite the function as y equals mx plus five. And what we could do is we can come up with an expression for the inverse and then plug this in. So to do that, we have to interchange the x and y values, and then we have to isolate for that y. So if we bring the five over, we'll have x minus five equals my, divide both sides by m, so y would equal x minus five over m. And so now what we can do is we could plug in this point or this point for the x and y values. So we plug in three for the x, negative four for the y, and now we could solve for that m value. So what we can do is uh, cross multiply negative four times m is negative four m. Then three minus five gives us negative two, cross multiply times one, that would be negative two. So m would be negative two over negative four, which simplifies to one over two which is the exact same answer that we got here. So my opinion, this way is easier because with this way, you gotta come up with an expression first and then you have to plug in that coordinate versus with this way, you don't really have to come up with a new expression, you just have to plug in the inverse coordinate and then solve for that m value.